I started my web design business from the couch of my apartment when I was still in college. And today I'm running a six figure web design business from the spare bedroom of my house. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through every step that you need to take to build a business like this and start making money today. Let's get started. What's going on guys, this is Peyton Smith. And if this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your freelance web design business, make sure to click below to subscribe and hit the notification button so you can be notified every time I release a new video. Now today we're gonna to be talking about the steps that you need to take to start your web design business and start making money right away. But before that, I think it's important that you know a couple things. And that is, you don't need to be a master web designer to start selling your website services. And number two, you don't need a college degree to do this either. Now I did get a bachelor's degree in web design development, and I feel like I've used almost nothing from that degree to run my business. And so if you're feeling discouraged or like you don't have the credentials, don't worry. This is something that you can teach yourself fairly quickly and start selling your services, selling your skills, and start building a business that you can be proud of. Now, the first step that you're going to need to take is finding a web design platform and learning it well. Now, obviously you can't sell websites if you don't know how to build beautiful websites. And so you're gonna to wanna to find a platform that meets all of your needs and can help you get to the point where you can confidently build these sites. The good news about being a web designer in 2020 is you don't have to learn HTML or CSS or any code for that matter. You just need to find a platform that allows you to take a design or a vision and make that a reality and be able to build the website the way that you need it to look. Now, if you're looking for a platform, I highly recommend Webflow. This is something that I use exclusively for all of my websites, all of my clients, and I feel like it's the most powerful tool for both beginners and experts to really take their web design um, and development to the next level. However, there are a lot of platforms out there. So whether you wanna use a Wix or a Squarespace or a WordPress, um, that's okay. Those are great places to start. But regardless of what direction you choose to go, you need to be willing to commit the time to get good at building beautiful websites. The second thing you're gonna to need to do is brand yourself. Now this is a phrase that gets thrown out a lot and I think when we hear the word brand, we think, I need a logo and I need a website and I need a fancy business name and, and none of those things are necessary to get started. What you're gonna wanna do is rather than branding an, a new business, you're just gonna brand yourself. And so when you're choosing a business name, I highly recommend using your own name. This is gonna allow people to become familiar with your name and when they do need a website, you're gonna be top of mind, okay? What you need to be willing to do to, to brand yourself is really just put yourself out there and let people know what it is that you do. Let them see you as the website guy or the website girl and let people know that this is what you do. Talk about it everywhere you get a chance. Talk about it at your gym, with your family, at your church, wherever you go, let people know that you are open and ready for business. Now, the third step you're gonna to need to take is finding clients. And this is the question I get asked more than any other question. And it really is a difficult question because there are a number of different ways that you can find new clients, but there are also countless ways to not find new clients. And there are a lot of things that you probably are gonna to want to avoid if you want this thing to get off the ground and start making you some money. Now, the first thing that I would say you need to avoid is competing with every single web designer in the entire world. Don't just throw your web design stuff out there on social media and on the web and just sit back and, and hope and pray that people find you and hire you because it's, it's just too competitive to do that. However, what you can do to immediately become kind of a, the, the best option for people is focusing in on your local area. And the best way to do this is by utilizing a tool called Google My Business. Now, Google offers this My Business platform to basically list your website and show up on searches that happen in your local area. So if someone down the road searches for a web designer in my town, I am the first guy that's gonna pull up on Google Maps and that is gonna get me a lot of exposure and get me in front of people really quickly. So all you're gonna need to do to set up this listing profile is click the link below, go through the steps and Google My Business, verify your location, and then all you need to do is just set the location that you wanna focus on put in your business name, um, what type of business you run, and you're up and running. This listing is also gonna be super beneficial for you as you continue to grow because you're gonna be able to collect 
client reviews on here, you're gonna be able to post your work and it's gonna be a great way to get more and more exposure. Once you've set up this Google My Business listing, you're gonna to need to put yourself out there and, and the best way to do that is via social media. Now, this is a little bit different than just posting kind of random stuff out on social media, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is make a very specific post geared towards your Facebook friends and your family that follow you on Facebook and you're gonna to wanna to let them know what it is that you're doing, let them know kind of this new adventure that you're starting where you're building websites, let them know that you're taking on clients, let them know the type of businesses that you're trying to reach. And by doing this, you're gonna be able to connect with people that are gonna be much easier to close as clients. And the reason for that is your family and your friends, they want you to succeed more than anyone else. And so they're gonna do their best to reshare your post and get you in contact with people that they know that own a business. Now, the other nice part about this is even though these early clients that you get through this Facebook post, even though they may be lower budget clients, they are the best type of clients to start with because A, they already know you and so they're gonna go easy on you. Um, and they're also gonna have a lot lower expectations. They're gonna be a lot easier for you to, to go through this process, make mistakes and learn, and they're not, gonna, they're not gonna fire you, they're not gonna be rude to you, but they are gonna be a great place to start so you can build that confidence and get to the point where you can land bigger clients and charge more. Now the fourth step is something pretty obvious, but it's something that oftentimes people forget, which is very sad, but you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're doing great work and that you're tracking that great work and showcasing that um, on your website. Now this is the step where you're gonna to wanna to start considering setting up a website, and a lot of people call this a portfolio website. What you're gonna to wanna to do is feature your work on here, and one thing that people often forget is they throw their design on their website and show what great design I do, but they always forget the results that their design brought to the client. So you're gonna to wanna to do your best to track not only the client's experience, but what kind of traffic increase they had, what kind of increase they had in calls from their website. These are the types of metrics that make you look really good and that make potential clients that land on your website think, wow, this person really knows what they're doing. This is who I wanna hire for my website. By showcasing this work, you're gonna be able to kind of complete that cycle, which is then gonna position you again to land new clients, do great work, showcase that, and the cycle goes on and on, which leads us to our last step, which is be patient and allow your business to snowball. Now, to give you a little hope in this idea of the snowball effect, um, your business is gonna grow exponentially just like mine has. About two years ago, a little over two years ago, I started my business with those first couple initial clients that I got from my Facebook post. They were small budget clients. I probably didn't do the best job, but since that time, just off those initial clients, I have received referrals and those referrals have given me referrals. And since that time, I've literally worked with over 100 different businesses, building websites. I've also been able to add marketing services to my web design business. And this thing has just grown far bigger and faster than I ever imagined. And the reason that it did that is because I was willing to go the extra mile, do good work, showcase that work, and just have faith in the process that by doing my best, things were gonna work out and people were gonna wanna work with me. And so if you can do that, I promise you that you'll be blown away by the results that you get. If you're still frustrated about the amount of clients that you're not getting or frustrated about any part of this process, um, be patient, but also be willing to work harder. Um, talk about what you're doing more, reach out to people, start conversations, um, and then just be confident that it is gonna work out and it is gonna grow in time. Now, if you are still feeling too frustrated about where your business is, or you have no idea where to start still, I do offer consulting services where I can actually get on the phone with you and hold your hand and literally set up your business for you exactly the way that I've set mine up. And if this is something that you're interested in, you can click the link below and schedule a chat with me. I'd love to meet you, see if we're a good fit for one another. But at the end of the day, I know that starting a web design business in 2020 is one of the best businesses you can start. And if you're willing to follow these steps and do the work, you're gonna be able to create this thing that is much bigger than yourself and much bigger than you ever could have dreamed of. And all you gotta be willing to do is put in the time. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments and I'll be quick to answer. And I look forward to catching you in the next video.